Good morning everyone, it's March 8th, 2023, and this is FSD Beta 11.3.1 on my larger test loop around Santa Clarita. In 500 feet, turn left onto Plum Canyon Road. So this is just going through various scenarios that I found around this now area of Santa Clarita, Plum Canyon Road. including this first uncontrolled left with some morning traffic. It's not peak morning traffic, but I've got a car coming from the left and I have to move forward to see from the right. Okay, it's not too busy. Okay, a car from the left, car from the right, and it can go. Okay, so here's the left, there's the right, go. Okay, it's stalling. Now there's another car from the left. There's no one from the right. It should have gone there. Okay, it should go now. Okay, I'm pushing it. It's too conservative. It's braking, there we go. Okay, a little conservative, but that's fine. I had to tell it to go. So I am getting it to go on the highway. There's a bit of morning rush hour traffic. I know this beta is mainly the highway stack and I'm only doing a very small section of it. But I have noticed some changes, a little slow getting this right lane again, um, some changes in lane selection. So I'm curious to see how it behaves on this uh, test loop on city streets. Very smooth on that, right? It's breaking for this light, there we go. It's it sees it and it's continuing. saying braking it's regenerative braking it's not hitting the brakes it's just letting go of the acceleration and decelerating a bit until it sees the green braking again for this fire uh, department light but it, it, it corrected quickly okay starting with deceleration for this turn you can pick whatever lane it wants it's picking the shorter lane that makes me happy it's really creeping up slow here. Now turn left onto New Hall Ranch Road.
half a left. So this entire section of road here has been redone. It used to be two lanes, it's now three lanes with a new right lane that then transitions to a right turn lane for this. So curious to see how this beta, this new beta version handles lane selection. As you can see, the visualizations changed quite a bit too. Seeing lots of these lock, I don't know if you call them lockups, but issues with the visualization. This is early beta, so I'm sure there's some optimization to come with the code on this, especially on an older 2018 Model 3. Saw that debris on the road, but made it out to a shirt pretty quick. That's why I reacted like that. I was about to avoid what I thought was a rock. new traffic pattern is this lane becomes a left turn lane up around this uh, natural curve in the road um, for a school in a residential area. There's now a third lane over there so I want to be over in that far right lane before I get in 1.3 miles to turn on Sierra Highway. So let's see how it handles this. It's not very busy but there's some fast moving traffic that's going well over the speed limit so it's got to deal with that kind of traffic. Here comes someone on my right that's coming up pretty fast. Oh, it sees, it's got to get in that right lane. I've got now three cars coming up on the right. Doing at least 60 in a 50 zone. Probably faster than 60 in a 50 zone. Okay, so it should go over there now. It 
see what it decides. I'll intervene if I have to, but I prefer not to have to. <laughs> Let's move over. Come on. Here, this this is new, this far back signal. I've got some time. It's kind of running on the line here. That's what that noise is. Come on. It's gonna miss the turn. Okay, I have to intervene. Intervention to get into right turn lane. Now I think it would have eventually got over, but it was leaving it way too late. Now turn right onto Sierra Highway. And the right wheel was sitting on the reflector markers while it was trying to decide what to do there. Nice right. Oop, just giving it a good punch there. I don't mind that. I like that actually. I know others don't. Okay, it should merge left. Get in that left lane. saying there's anything wrong with how it decided to do that. It's just general comments about what I'm observing as the driver. There's nothing necessarily wrong with what it did there. Okay, let's see how it handles this left turn to join the on-ramp with a bunch of traffic and how it merges with that traffic. Okay, turn signals on. That's great to let people behind me know where I'm heading. that down so you can see the path predictions okay nice and smooth just go right into this turn you can do it just go just go now turn left to take Don't. the California there. okay I didn't have to tap the accelerator or anything it did that on its own okay now let's see what it does on this merge nice control on this lane on the turn there and now let's see how it merges into the flow of traffic which is backed up Try not to have to intervene here. Okay, it's deciding to get in behind this truck. It should signal, but that's nitpicking. Not bad. Okay, I just gotta remove this point. with that merge to be honest the only thing missing for me was the turn signal for the merge okay let's see how it handles this right turn with the stop sign and and traffic it should just go because it can merge over 
Okay, it should go now. Okay, it's not going. Give it a little tap. Okay, so we're going to go through a little roundabout in 1.3 miles. There's some tracks and some unique traffic flow as well just before the roundabout. This is what I mean by the visualizations. A little buggy, but not too worried about it because the car is behaving regardless of the properly, regardless of the visualization. supercharger station looks like they're still not quite open yet oh but Tesla's energy's there Tesla supercharging team four Tesla's there working on it wow okay it's a little busier it's gonna have to start moving over in that left lane or it's gonna get trapped making a right turn it's forced into it needs to move over it's not signaling to let the driver know I I want to get over turn the signal on let this play out okay so there's the two right lanes turn right ahead Okay, so finally deciding and turning the turn signal on, slowing down to get in behind this car. It's got to make a really quick decision to get over one more. Come on, signal. Okay, the car, come on, slow down, slow down. In 1,000 feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Oh, and we're braking. I had to tap the accelerator because it was very aggressive braking. And I'm stopping because of the tracks. It didn't seem to want to stop for the tracks. So it's got no representation. Uh, stopped because it was going to position itself on top of train tracks. So I intervened there because it was going to roll forward to, you know, sit on these train tracks and trains will come. I mean, I'm actually really badly positioned because the, the thing's behind me. It's actually right on top of me. positioning in this lane okay that's beautiful wow okay much improved roundabout performance very natural and smooth and well centered and controlled throughout the roundabout See what lane 
Avenue selects for this dual left turn lane. Turn left onto Leone Avenue. Okay, lots of traffic here again. Okay, what's it gonna do? So this is a situation where the neural networks aren't mimicking the human behavior. Um, the humans are going over the line to feed into the dual left turn lanes where there's a straight lane that goes forward and these people are cutting in the marked areas to go around me. So let's see what it does. It should turn its left turn signal on. There we go. So no one's cutting into my left. Now turn left I would onto pick, no one's picking, oh, it's having trouble picking a lane. Indecision in which lane to select resulted in intervention. So as you saw there, the path prediction was having a lot of trouble picking a lane there. So I just manually put it in the lane I want. with the accelerator, it seems to be lagging a little bit. There we go. So a third lane opens up here, just before this light. Then there's some parked cars just before it. So it can go into this right lane after these three cars. Now it can merge over. There we go. The path prediction's doing it. Excellent. In 500 feet, turn right onto Archer Okay, Village and then it's going to get into this right turn lane, which, there it is. Oh, it's having, there it goes. Kind of a lazy entry, now but. Now turn right onto Orchard Village Road. Creeping forward to take a peek. We can go. Okay, I'm giving it a push. It's hesitating a little bit too much there. There we go. It can go around this person, but it's choosing to wait, which is fine. decided to pass. I didn't do anything there. It noticed this driver was doing 35 in a 45 zone.
Parkview nope. Parkway. adjusting the, the path, the navigation. Now turn right onto McDean Parkway. Okay, advanced green, so I should just go. Come on. and feed, turn right onto Valencia Boulevard. Started the turn signal a little early there. Okay, now it can do it. Now turn right onto Valencia Boulevard. doing its complete stop. It's not moving forward to look. Obviously it can go here. I'm having to push it through. It was just wanting to sit at that light. to get back to my start point to see a lane selection in this area and then the lane selection for the left turn on a Plum Canyon Road heading back to my start point. Okay, I, it shouldn't be moving over right now. We need to go straight through this light. This becomes a left turn lane. It's going to have to get back out of this lane. There it goes. 
Dios. It hesitated changing lanes through that intersection. It did it on some other ones. Okay, we're back into the proper lane. flowing forward lane. So I like this lane selection. Actually, it doesn't matter here. Once it makes the turn, it needs to get over, let me think about this. It's got to get over one lane and then pick the right of three left turn lanes. If it picks the middle, it could still make it over. If it picks the far left, it, it's going to be hard pressed to move over in traffic.
It's got to move over a lane. Nice handling of that car with its back quarter sticking out a little bit. So it sees all three left turn lanes. In this is the right turn lane. Turn left onto Golden Valley Road, New Hall Ranch Road. Come on. You have to intervene again. There it goes. Okay. Now I know if I was in that middle lane, I could probably get in front of that garbage truck, but I want to see how Beta handles this. This is the first time I've ever seen Beta pick this lane without me having to intervene. It always wants to get over. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here we go. Now turn left onto Golden Valley Road. Okay, nice left turn. Right turn, it's a yield with a dedicated lane that merges after a few hundred feet. Now turn right to stay on Golden Valley. Okay, so it should signal right. There it is. Get over nicely. Good. Okay, fair with this garbage truck not going because it needs to make a tight right and it'll impede the other lane. Excuse me. Okay, there it goes. Okay, it can just go. Nope, it's braking. I'm just giving it a little push. There, pick the correct lane. Now it's going to signal left and get out of this lane. It's still signaling right. Come on. Okay, so it's just doing this lazy merge with no signal. this truck moving over one more okay so the car should pass let's see what it does really slow to make the decision to pass okay I'm hitting it I mean it's gonna make a left at the end of this road anyway so <laughs> need to get in the right lane. Nope, it does not need to get in the right lane.
picking the left. Oh, and it's braking heavy. And nope, it's going to roll through that. Had to intervene as was going to roll through a yellow for left turn. Unfortunately, still didn't pick that right left turn lane. Let's see if it makes this left and then breaks to get over into the right lane or hesitates. left with me so I can just do a nice smooth right turn right turn lane change now anytime now there it goes in 1,000 feet turn right onto via Joyce Drive okay now let's see if it gets into this right turn lane which is a bike lane it becomes a turn lane and bike lane so it now should be signaling right onto via it's not Drive. indicating nope. engage it before the turn. There we go. So there's the larger Santa Clarita test loop with FSD beta 11.3.1.